Hi, this is Abul Kalam. Today we are going to learn ratio. If A is to B equal to 2 is to 3, B is to C equal to 4 is to 5, find A is to B is to C. We know to do this in different method, right? That's a usual method. Here B value is 3, here B value is 4. So you have to make a single uh, same value, okay? How to do this in shortcuts? So write what is given in the first line, A is to B. What is the value? 2 is to 3. What is given in the second line? B is to C, that is 4 is to 5. So what do you understand? So in the first value, in the first line, I don't know the value of C. In the second line, I don't know the value of A. So what you have to do is, here first line it is ending with 3, 2 is to 3. So just now you suffix 3 or just add 3 at the end. The second line it starts with 4. So just you prefix 4. Just there after that just multiply. 2 fours are 8, 3 fours are 12. 3 fives are 15. So A is to B is to C is 8 is to 12 is to 15. You want to copy? Just to copy down. We will do another 2 more questions. Okay, shall we do one more? Next question. If if A is to B is 3 is to 5, B is to C is 2 is to 7, C is to D is 10 is to 11, find A is to B is to C is to D. So let me write A is to B is to C is to D. So what is given in the first line? 3 is to 5. A is to B is given. So I don't know C, I don't know D. So what is given in the second line? B is to C, 2 is to 7. So 2 is to 7. I don't know D and I don't know that A also. So what is given in the third one? 10 is to 11. C is to D is 10 is to 11. So I, so I don't know, so I don't know that A and B. So I don't know the part of A and B. Okay. Now when you observe here what you have to do? This first line is ending with 5. So just you so put 5 there at the end. So 3 is to 5 is to 5 is to 5. The second line, the first column, first one and the last one is empty. So here this is yeah, starting with 2, so write here 2. This is ending with 7, so write 7. The third line, it starts with 10. So the previous two are blanks, now fit it with 10. So what is the next step? Just multiply. So once you multiply, what you will get? 3 into 2 into 10. What is 3 into 2 into 10? 3 into 2 into 10, 6 into 10, 60. 5 into 2 into 10, 5 into 2, 10, 10 into 10, 100. 5 into 7, 35 into 10, 350. 5 into 7, 35, 35 into 11, 385. But this is not the answer. Why? Because we know that ratio should be expressed in the lowest form. Now all the terms are divisible by 5. Now divide this by 5. So A is to B, this is 12. 16 divided by 5 is 12 and 100 divided by 5 is 20, 350 divided by 5 is 70 and 385 divided by 5 is 77. So because 7 5 are 35, balance 3, 35, so 77. So 12 is to 20 is to 70 is to 77. Further we cannot simplify it because this is 7 into 11, other numbers are not divisible. Okay, let's do one more, the last case. Okay. If A is to B equal to 2 is to 7, B is to C equal to 3 is to 5, C is to D equal to 4 is to 9, D is to E equal to what is the number missing here? Okay, let me write here uh, 6 is to 11. Question is find A is to B is to C is to D is to E. Okay, let me wait for a couple of minutes. Can you try this? Okay, shall we do? 
the first line what we know is A is to B. So what is unknown is C, D and E are unknown. The second line what is known is B is to C that is 3 is to 5. So what are the things unknown is D, E and A are unknown. In the third line what is, un what is given is 4 is to 9. C is to D is 4 is to 9. So what is unknown is this three things that is A, B and E are unknown. So the second, the last line D is to E is 6 is to 11. So 6 is to 11. So what is unknown is the first three lines. The first three that is A, B and C are unknown. Now what you are going to do is just this 2 is to 7 since it is ending with 7 just you fix, fix 7 to the end or just to write 7 at the end. So A is to B is 2 is to 7. So A is to B is to C is to D is to E will be 2 is to 7 is to 7 is to 7 is to 7. So here this here it starts with 3 but the previous is blank. So now write here 3. Just prefix 3. Now this is ending with 5. Now you prefix here 5. Now this is ending with 9. Now you prefix sorry suffix with 9. It starts with 4. Now you start with 4. This is starting with 6, so now you prefix 6 everywhere. And the next step is just nothing but multiplication. 2 into 3, uh, 2 into 3, 6. 6 into 4, 24. 24 into 6, 24 into 6, 144. 7 into 3, 21. 21 into 24. What is 21 into 24? 24 into 20 is 480 plus 480 plus 24. 504. This is 504. The next one 35 into 24. 35 into 24. 35 into 24. 35 into 20 is 700. 35 into 4 is 140. So this is 840. And next one 35 into 54 because this 75 are 35. 96 are 54. So 35 into 54. This is 5 fourths are 20, 12, 12 plus 2, 14. This is 175, 150 plus 175. So this is 0, 9, 8, 1. So this is 1, 8, 9, 0. And next one, 7 into 5, 35, 35 into 99. So what is the case now? 35 times 99. Okay, we know that 35 times 99 is 100 minus 1. 99 is 100 minus 1. 35 into 100 is 3500 minus 35. So 3465. So as I already said, this is not the answer because uh, if there is some other numbers which is common, you have to make it simplified. So this is a very simple method. Whenever a question is complicated, you can find any numbers. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Kindly do remember to subscribe this video.